So I'm Nicola Jones. Um, I work for Resolve um, as a workforce development officer, so training, upskilling, uh, mostly substance misuse professionals um, in the subject of volatile substance abuse. The main issue is that professionals need the correct information. It's always been associated with young people and it's now um, a serious issue for adults. Our average age of death is now 30. So there's a cohort of chronic users out there, adult users, that are struggling to deal with their volatile substance abuse. They're not accessing treatment services. We currently have around 100 adults in treatment for this um, and there's far more um, users out there that need support. Treatment services professionals are not asking the questions around volatile substance abuse so it's not being identified if they currently have people in services that are using and also it means then that people there's a lot of stigma around this so users are not accessing services themselves so they're not self-referring into services and professionals are not asking about it which means that it remains quite hidden and people are not getting the support they need. Our community for recovery service is um, primarily to increase the number of users that are going into treatment services and receiving support. Um, we're doing this by training professionals um, so that they know what to look out for, they're asking the right questions and they're getting people the support that they need. Um, we can also provide support to professionals over the telephone or online. So if you're working with somebody that's inhaling and you just want to additional information and advice were there. We have counselling that clients and family members can access as well and that's online or telephone. We need to identify people who are either currently in treatment for other substances that are doing uh, volatile substance abuse under the radar and ask new clients that are coming into their service as part of their general assessments um, and it's a, very, it's a very specific way to ask the questions um, Asking people what drugs you've ever taken and not likely to highlight this. Um, it's often asking about how abuse of household products and listing a few examples and then recording that information for the National Treatment Agency. They are recording um, information for us on volatile substance abuse but asking professionals to be very specific in the way that they record it. So under the other um, option on the TOPS forms, it's about recording the exact product that's been abused. Once those questions are asked, and we can, we have got a assessment and guidance tool available on our website, um, but we can help individual services to develop their assessment tool if need be. Once it's identified, it's about using all your psychosocial interventions that are already most professionals are skilled in using. There's nothing different, there's nothing specific around this. It's just about knowing the risks and dangers that VSA, I suppose, um, highlights that are different to other substances. The sudden sniffing death syndrome um, being the main concern. The more we know about this and understand adult use as well as young people's use, then people are going to start going into treatment more because it'll be more visible.